We have arrived in the abandoned prepper cache near Timberwolf Mountain, which means... Rest. Jennifer? Jennifer, I'm starting an episode, could you not? Which means our time together as nomads is, for now, nearly at its end. And our time together as archivists is about to begin. Hello, Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark in our Against All Challenges meta series, where we are taking on the final episode of the Nomad Challenge. I'm going to very quickly relight my lantern here just to find my way through this darkened space. There is another lantern right there. That's great. I can break that down momentarily and I will check out. Yeah, there's not gonna be a ton of stuff here. This is not normally a cache that has a lot in it, but I'll do a little bit of um, inventory management at the moment that I leave. Oh wow, that's actually a good amount of clothing. I take it back. That is a good amount of stuff. I'll do a little bit of inventory management after I leave and sleep. But yeah, for now, sleep is the top priority. Let me also check the condition of some of these items. Yep, I do need to top off my calorie meter. And while these items are particularly reasonable condition, I would like to do that. Not that they're going to drop very fast in the next 20, 25 minutes or so, which is all we're going to need. But hey... Better to just follow the principles, regardless. <laughs> Unless, apparently, you're burning books like I was in the church a few episodes ago. In which case, apparently, for the purposes of long dark gameplay, uh, principles can be rapidly abandoned. <laughs> Man, I could use a drink. All right, so <laughs> let's eat some pinnacle peaches. Because we could, in fact, use a drink. We have a lot of extra weight on us right now. So we're going to have to deal with that. But I would like to... You know what? I don't even think I need to loot the place up. I don't. I really don't. I'm just going to take a look at what I'm carrying and make some reasonable decisions about what I don't need to carry up there. I'm not going to use the birch bark. Uh, I only need... Honestly, I don't need any tinder, but I'll take one with me. I don't need these matches. I don't need those matches. I don't need all that accelerant. I'll drop four of them. And there we go. We've got enough to climb. So let's just go with it. Uh, do I need anything else? No, I really don't. There's a hacksaw. Is there any food laying around? No, there's not. All right, let's just go. Let's go. We're almost done. Let's go. Let's do this. It's time. It's past time. So now Pleasant Valley is looking a little bit more like the zone we know and hate, I mean love. Should be able to make this in one go without stopping. I am fully energized, just woke up. I have crampons on, so we are good. Let's just do this. Nice. You can hear how energetic those last few steps were. <laughs> I just woke up, I'm wearing crampons, and this thing cannot stop me. And just slam your feet into the ground as you finish the climb. Not even sounding tired. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed that there's so many little amazing nuances in the Long Dark's sound effect repertoire, sound effect library. There are so many little things. And the energy of those last few steps when you finish an energized climb wearing this new foot gear. It's noticeable. It's there. You can't miss it. Also, can I just add, the Moosehide Satchel is definitely doing what I said it would do. I know there's still plenty of arguments for it not being necessary in the Nomad Challenge, but at least for the purposes of like moving through this area semi-quickly, carrying all the stuff I'm carrying, especially a revolver, a, a revolver and a rifle, like, it's, it's, it's helping. It's helping a lot. So welcome to Timberwolf Mountain. Not my favorite zone in the game. Some people love it. And some of the people that love it are pretty cool. 
and pretty important to me. So I'm not going to hate on it. I'm not going to do that right now. But it's not my favorite. It's a bit of a maze. But I suppose it's a consistent maze, which means that it is possible for me to learn my way around it. Positive outlook. Positive attitude. There's a great Charles Swindle quote that concludes with the words, All we can do is play on the one string that we have, and that is our attitude. And it's very true. So I suppose Timberwolf Mountain at some point will be higher in my good graces. But right now, it's not. <laughs> All right, so we are passing the landing gear. As I mentioned, there will be a few cattails uh, that I can grab on the way here, and I will do that just to make absolutely sure. Although, it's probably not even necessary. But at this point, why not just have them so that I can just fully keep my stomach not even remotely close to empty for the remainder. <laughs> you can make a counter-argument and be like, dude, why do you need to stay full anymore? You can just starve from this point on. You're about to finish the challenge. Again, principles matter, except when they don't. So we're, <laughs> we're going to keep feeding our character. I'm being sarcastic, of course. Principles always matter. But this is why we play video games. It's one of the many reasons we play video games. It allows us to play with actions that are not consistent with our character, that are not consistent with our worldview, that are not consistent with our upbringing, that are not consistent with our perspective on life in general, that are not even consistent with our capabilities. That's, I suppose, the thing that is most attractive about games is that you can do things that you might not otherwise be able to do. And that's why immersive experiences like the kinds that I try to capture on my channel have always held so much of an appeal to me. For me, it's not so much about ability or disability, for that matter. It's about, it's about just the immersive aspect and the imagination aspect. But I know that for many, it is, it is about ability and disability. And that is something... Sorry, I got into an unexpectedly deeper point here than I was intending to make, but it's very true. Like, the ability to feel capable of doing something. Whether it's because you literally can't and will never be able to in real life, or because it's just challenging for you or something that you would like to be able to do easily in certain situations. It provides not only the catharsis of uh, that feeling of capability, but it might even help teach you things that you can then implement so that you can accomplish that goal in reality. Sometimes. I'm not sure I can carry much more. That's why we like games. Why do you like games? Tell me in the comments. Let's talk about it. Since I've taken us to this deep and thoughtful place. What do you feel like is the thing that really, really draws you in about a game? And it doesn't have to be like my reasons. It can be different. That's why I'm asking. Mountaineer's hat. Here we are. Okay, let's search real quick. <laughs> of course. Of course, the first thing I grab is accelerant. Pork and beans, pork and beans. Screw you, spray paint. Spray paint. I don't need you. Uh, climber's journal page. Yep. Yep. So I guess I, I don't really need to start a fire, do I? I just need to survive here for a few minutes. And by a few minutes, I mean a few days. But for the purposes of the series, it's just going to be a few minutes. And then we'll be done. And then I won't, won't know I, I won't know what to do with myself. I don't think I'm going to reach 25 minutes. What do I do? Do I just keep keep playing? Do I run around shooting things? Do I try to make it to the summit? No, I'm not even going to bring that up. People will be like, no, go to the summit. I'm like, no, it's the nomad challenge. We want, we want harder things. Stop rambling, Hadrian, and start surviving. Let's see. We should, uh, how are we doing? Yeah, I'm just going to pass time for 12 hours. 
Actually, no. 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 I'm going to do what I said I was going to do first. And then we'll pass time. I'm going to repair all of my clothing. And take care of that clock problem. This, this is actually somewhat purposeful. I'm not very concerned about it, given the fact that, well, I don't, even, I don't have to explain it to you anymore. I've said it a million times in this series. Not concerned about it, for reasons you're aware of. But, principles sometimes matter. And I'm repairing things. Because I said a few episodes ago that I was going to repair everything, and then I didn't. And I feel weird about that. I feel like I should do what I say, you know? I'm also passing time by doing this, so. I'm, my tongue is planted firmly in my cheek right now. I'm being very snarky, but this is actually passing time. Okay, that's good enough for me. All that's left are the socks. Uh, it looks like I do, on account of passing all that time, now have the need to drink some things, but I picked up some things that I can drink for that, so. Let's go ahead and drink some water. I think that 0.64 gallons is going to be all that we need, which is pretty, pretty handy. We've got, I just won't have to do anything. I just need to sit here. I'm just looking at the episode timer like, oh my God, I should have just wrapped up last episode. In my head, there's always the possibility because I'm so accustomed to playing on custom difficulties that are challenging and really throw you a lot of curveballs all the time. I'm just used to making room for things going like horribly wrong. You know what I mean? And that's just not something that I've needed to be concerned about with this playthrough, but it's a very difficult habit to kick. Very difficult habit to kick. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this wet dog food. Not just dog food, wet dog food. I'm gonna eat a couple of these cattails. Gonna drink this water. And now we're gonna sleep for literally 12 hours straight. Lost a little bit of condition there, but it's okay. Ooh, 57 days, 9 hours, 6 minutes. That is a lot more time than the last time that pop-up showed. Last time I remember seeing that was when we were in the church. Okay, so now let's pass time for another 12. Almost there. What are we going to do with ourselves? I haven't had a 15-minute episode in years. Literal years. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. But I, I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to roll with it. And what that means is that tomorrow, Legion, we'll be starting Archivist. And we'll have a brand new premiere. So I hope you'll be able to make it. You can actually show up live for the episode and chat with us. For those of you who haven't done that before. You don't have to chat. You can lurk. You can hang out. But we'll be hanging out. It's always fun. There's even a cool countdown that I'm almost as obsessed with. I'm going to eat a tree. Uh... <laughs> I'm almost as obsessed with uh, watching that countdown as I am with making new premieres. Almost. Okay. Going to eat just a few more cattail stalks to be done with this. And then I'm going to eat that energy bar just to give us a little bit of a bigger chunk all at once. That's the equivalent of eating three, but it takes the same amount of time. Handy. All right, so now let's let's go ahead and um, let's pass time. You know what? Let's just pass time for 12 more hours. I'd rather do that. Do have to wait a little bit, but that's fine. 
Then we can drink some water. And then we'll be very close to being done. Because I think we've already had one full day. We passed time for 12 hours and then slept for 12 hours once. Now we're doing it a second time. And we spent a little bit of time repairing prior to sleeping at all. So we'll be two and change days into this. Let's see. Yeah. 2.2. Before I'm even... Before I've even slept, as a matter of fact. So hang on. I'm not even done yet. So this is going to put us up to 2.7. Here we go. You ready? This isn't going to complete it. But it's going to bring us close enough. And this will be... The end to my first series back in two and a half years. And it feels good. And of course, the meta series, as I just said, continues tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, it feels really good. So let's go ahead and drink this just to top off our thirst meter. And then we're going to pass time for about six hours. Does it not pop up on the screen while you're... There we go. Location complete. Mountaineer's hut. Challenge completed. Right Jennifer! That's twice in one episode. And the last episode of my first series back in two and a half years. Could you, like, just keep it to yourself? Maybe. Maybe. Just, just, just a thought. Just a, you know what? Just a friendly suggestion, Jennifer. 59 days. Three hours. 27 minutes, which is my best time, given that this is the first time I've actually completed this in, I mean, since Wintermute dropped. So let's go back to the menu really quickly before I wrap up here, because I want to address something that kind of came up while I was, while I was uh, kind of talking about this in the first episode. So yeah. Yeah, look at the progress on these. I've definitely made more progress on a number of these. Let's see, straight to the heart is what? You use 250 coffee, energy drinks, or emergency stems. Yeah. You experience the effects of coffee. Oh, nice. Energy drinks and emergency stems for 25% longer. Yeah, I, I haven't unlocked any of these feats, but the progress that I'm making in playing through these challenges is going to unlock feats for me personally while I am playing through this particular challenge. So you know what? We're going to wrap up this episode by listening to Sasha's amazing score, just like we began in episode one of my first series back in a couple of years. It's been great playing with you all. I'll see you again tomorrow. Again, please come to the premiere if you can. If not, no worries. Watch the video on demand when you can, the VOD, whatever you want to call it. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.